Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword. I'm Zelda Master and here we are in the Volcano Ascent. Just about to investigate Elden Volcano to look for the uh, trial gate. So yeah, we gotta look for it within this volcano. And it's gonna be really easy because it's right here, yeah. Uh, if you land in the Volcano Ascent, you don't even have to look for it because it's right in front of you. That's how freaking easy it really is. So let's go ahead and take out our harp and start strumming a little bit so Fi can come out. And we can start this trial gate straight up. This is actually a really short and easy trial gate. So uh, yeah, we're going to knock it out really quickly so we can just get on to the next section of the game. So uh, let me see if I can strum properly. I wasn't really paying attention, but... Yeah, sadly I can't like pay attention to the music and strum like on key with that because uh, you know as I mentioned a lot my audio is delayed so yeah it sucks but I think actually I'm, I'm doing fine just by looking at the visuals like this is never really hard you can you don't really have to actually pay attention to the music you just need to look at the visual like of the um, circle closing in and out but I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can't really come up with a good reason in why I was failing. I just was. I wasn't really paying attention, I guess. But yeah. I'm speaking over this song as well. Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's a pretty good song, if you ask me. It's gonna open up the way to the next uh, trial. The final trial, as we know. Or is it? It's actually not the final trial. I'm gonna say this now, but I don't really think I'm spoiling much. I'm only saying that so people don't correct me in the comments saying, oh, you're wrong. Uh, there's actually another one or something. Uh, Cause yeah, <laughs> I, I usually act dumb to things. Like normally I know what it is. Cause obviously I played this game before, uh, but I like to act dumb cause I don't like spoiling things. But usually people like to correct me when I do that. So I don't know, but well, look at the trees, like the, Dead trees look so creepy back there, especially in this lighting. But yeah, this is a silent realm, so Master Link, what's up? You stand in Din Silent Realm, the third trial. It tests the limits of your power. To locate the last flame, you will enhance your sword. Uh, that will enhance your sword. You must complete this final challenge and achieve spiritual growth once again. Alright, let's take out the um, weird vessel. Or whatever, the spirit vessel, yeah, that's it, so we could trap the spirit chairs within them and get started. So, just like the other two we took on before, it's going to be pretty straightforward, and I think this one is actually, like, the shortest one out of all of them. Um, maybe, I don't know. And I can kind of feel my voice <clears throat> slowly, like, giving out, so I'm going to try to talk in, like, a different tone so it doesn't sound like my voice is giving out, because right now it sounds like it, so maybe if I, uh raise the pitch of my voice like I'm doing now <laughs> it might sound a little different I don't know I, it's really annoying me how my voice is just suddenly giving out again but yeah it's just, it's just weird it's sickness I guess I don't know if I don't know what it is actually normally I should go to the doctor and get things checked up but uh, funny enough I never get anything checked up ever so yeah I'm the type of person who if I get a sickness or a bruise or whatever I just kind of like let it sit which is really stupid uh, I'll tell you that, but I don't know, man. It's just how I roll. I it's kind of I grew up like that. Like my parents didn't have much money and didn't really have health insurance. Even though I'm pretty sure for kids, most things. I don't, I don't really know how we went with that. But either way, I barely go to the hospital, and it's like a habit I kind of picked up. So I know that's a bad thing, especially since I'm 21. You know, I'm my own adult. I should definitely get a checkup if I feel like it's necessary but oh let's not get caught actually let's get caught so I can literally land straight on this tier because I don't want this guy to hit me there we go okay yeah don't worry luckily there is that tier to save you in need but yeah as I was saying I'm not really one to like go out of my way and go to the hospital I like, I like googling things you know with the power of the internet I feel like everyone can kind of check up on their symptoms and see if you know it's something really serious because uh, then again that's kind of not a good thing because if you google something and it seems like it could like it has similar um symptoms to like a much worse disease you start freaking out and you think you have that kind of disease like the really bad one that happens to me at least like i get really paranoid i'm like a hypochondriac i guess when it comes to stuff like that but 
Uh, yeah, lately I've been just kicking it, and I, I guess I'm just assuming that uh, my voice will eventually heal, because... Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I never, like, I never noticed how bad it was, you know, unless I was recording, because I'm pretty sure normally if someone had, like, a sore throat, they it wouldn't bother them unless they did something that required using your voice. Like, you know, not just talking to people, but actually, like, um, commentating or singing or voice acting or whatever the case may be. And for me, it's commentating, so, yeah, really, Link, you overjumped there. Like, I don't see that being my fault. I, all I did was leap. I didn't think you should have leaped that far. Okay, so, yeah, so far I'm covering this section. I mean, this is pretty uh, straightforward. Like, I don't feel like I have to explain anything. You, you obviously want to avoid these guys, right? That's what you need to do. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this, and I'm just trying to clear this section of the volcano before I make my way back to uh, this area, which the last four are remaining in. The reason why I left them there is because, yeah, that's like the final section that I tackle. And I do it in this specific order because it's just really easy to do it. Um, especially since this section here is really out of your way. So if you save it last, you have to walk all the way back to make your way to the trial gate. Like to the way, like, to leave this spiritual realm, I guess. And, um, yeah, I'd be pretty dumb if you did that because... You might not make it. You might end up getting caught. Actually, no, I don't know. Do your petals deplete when you have them all? They might not, actually. Either way, you don't want to risk the chance of getting caught or something while walking all the way back, not having a tear to uh, save you. Because when you grab a tear when you're caught, uh, it puts you in this invincibility mode that we're currently in. You know, everything's blue, right? So we are safe. That's how it works, I believe. I believe this was going to take us back. I just want to check to make sure. Yeah, we're good. Um, so we're going to walk back there in a second. I just need to continue through here. I believe what I want to do is climb up this. I'm going to find a little tunnel that I could walk through. That should be somewhere over back there. But let me just grab this one. Also, uh, yeah, those little white fruits help out a lot. Because for 30 seconds, it kind of indicates where the tears are. And you may see, I wouldn't know that there, there's one over there if I didn't grab it, right? I, I'd still see it. Because, I mean, they're red, and everything else here is pretty blue, except the lava, actually. It's also pretty red. Alright, let's, uh, let's balance ourselves. But yeah, this is the last one in this section. So imagine grabbing this one after grabbing all of them, and then having to walk all the way back through the trial gate. It would suck. See, now I know there are four left. I literally looked at them, and they're in the other section of the volcano. So I'm just going to focus on them. But I do have to walk all the way back before my, um... M my like uh, time depletes because yeah those little petals that are slowly going down if they make it to the end then I get caught so yeah you don't necessarily get caught though I keep saying get caught but it's not necessarily getting caught it's more so you have a higher chance of getting caught because um, the guardians are roaming freely and chasing you instead of being in a safe zone so yeah I find it funny how I'm taking so long to explain Something that uh, we've done already twice in this Let's Play. And look at that, you could see some of the waking water, like, in that weird hole. Why is it like that? I don't know. It's interesting, but weird, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just keep going, all right. Oh, God, I don't have enough stamina for this, do I? Oh, okay. No, I didn't. What? I actually got clipped in the butt at the last second because I decided to run this with, like, half my gauge. You know what I realized? I never actually showed off the uh, stamina potion, which like doubles your stamina gauge. I feel like that should be necessary to grab one time. I mean, I have a lot of rupees on me and it'd just be fun to use. But yeah, see now I only have one, um, what's it called? Freaking petal on me, you know, the flower is about to go out, about to get caught, oh no! Yeah, and it starts blinking and it creeps you out. That's why I left this one here, so I can easily pick it up without getting or worrying about, you know, being chased down until I find the other two, so that is how you do that. It's my little tactic. I, I find it funny how I still remember how to do this so well, even though it's been like two years. And the only reason why I say that is because I know other Zelda games, you know, I have them memorized pretty well, even though it's been years on years since playing one, you know, I can still 100% it easy 
without thinking, and that's only because I've played them like hundreds and hundreds of times. This game, I think this is literally my third time completing the game uh, ever. <laughs> and yes, I've let's played it before, so think about that. I've only played this game once in my free time, aside from let's playing. Uh, but I know the, I feel like I just know it so well. All right, oh, this music is so sick. All right, yeah, let's look around for a second before we do end this off. You know, take a moment to take all of this in. Because everything is really blue, and this volcano is usually red and hot and crazy looking. But, you know, it looks nice right now, and I love it. All right, so let's see. Can I land? All right, no, I don't have a sail cloth. Luckily, I was able to manage a roll. I want to manage that roll so I can actually run like that. Because if I started sliding down, then I could have hit some waking water, and, you know, that just would have been bad. But... Over here is one, and the last one, I'm making it pretty hard for me, because once I grab it, I'm going to be sliding, and if I land in waking water, then I am in trouble. But, I'm not afraid, so, I think we're good. We just have to make it back to that portal, so. Yeah, oh, oh just adjust the camera, and we're good. <laughs> yeah, that would have sucked if I did land in waking water, though I, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to make it back. I mean, this guy could have hit me. But they, like, they take such a weird route, like, they, I feel like they're chasing, like, a hologram of you that is, like, seconds delayed. Like, that's how they act. Uh, that, you know, they're not instantly chasing you, and that's nice, because you can kind of, like, kite them, in a sense. I feel like at least I can. I'm pretty sure I could take on one of these Silent Realms if it, it never gave me a safe zone. Actually, no, not this one, because there's a lot of platforming, but maybe like the first one, like Feron Woods, uh, that Silent Realm could be done without any, maybe. I don't know, I never actually have been uh, out of the safe zone for too long, you know? But there we go, we got ourselves Fire Shield Earrings. Really weird, but this is the, um, the little, uh, reward the goddess has given us, and it's gonna help us out a lot. I actually really like these earrings because, yeah, I'll just show off what they do right now. Um, <laughs> they're awesome. It's pretty much gonna open up the next area of the game, of course, but um, yeah, you can actually see him on Link as well. So yeah, if you look closely on his ear, you can see a little red circle clipped on him, you know, red earrings, and these earrings allow him to walk through really intense uh, heat. So this is pretty much like the fire tunic. If you played Ocarina of Time, um, then you understand exactly what I mean. And if you remember, when first scaling this uh, volcano, that there's an area that's just too hot for us. That li Link literally starts burning up as he walks into it. Like the air is just so hot, and everything that y yeah, you just ignite yourself as you uh, walk into it. But if you walk into it now with these earrings, as you can see. We're cool, we're calm, we're collected. Yeah, they blink a little. It's kind of cool. Fi's not gonna tell us anything, but I think you get the gist that we're safe in here. So yeah, now we can enter this area without dying. I don't even know if you can head inside here uh, to begin with if you don't have the fire earrings, but yeah, I have a status update for you, Master. We have now entered the crater of the peak of Elden. Yeah, we're inside the volcano itself, pretty much. Volcano Summit. Oh god. I'm detecting extremely high temperatures in this area. However, your fire shield earrings will allow for extended periods for exploration. I calculate that probably if uh, the, the probability of finding the final secret flame is 90%. Like she usually says, she never wants to say 100%, but we get the gist. Okay. I guess that does that. I'm gonna I'm gonna end off here though before my voice cracks anymore. I feel like it's just literally constantly cracking. I don't know what's going on with my like voice box or something. Like vibrating. Oh, I guess that's that's how sounds are made through vibrations. Yeah, now you learned something new today, right? They, like no one knew that. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna end off here. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like and next time we will explore the volcano summit. Alright, I'll see you all then. Peace.